it comes to weed control in soybeans, one of the biggest changes that's happened over the last oh, half a dozen years or so has been the great big increase in the amount of post-emerge residual herbicides being used. The number one chemical family used for early post-residual in soybeans now is actually the group 15s. Here's my problem with it. That's also the number one chemical family used in corn. So if you're going to use it in corn, you're going to use it again in soybeans, I just get a little worried about it. But nevertheless, this is a relatively inexpensive mode of action that you can pick. Group 15s are going to include Outlook, Zidua, Warrant. There are many different choices here. The main thing to understand is they don't give you any contact activity, only residual control. And don't forget, Brian, there are combinations with some contact activity in there, like the Anthem products, like Anthem Flex. All right, so Darren brings up a good point here. There are a lot of post-emerge combinations you can use, and that gets very confusing. So we've got an app for you, the Ag PhD Mode of Action app. You can look up any of these different products. What he mentioned there was Anthem. Okay, that's got a group 15, but it also has a PPO. And the PPO in there is Cadet. Now there's another PPO you could use post-emerge, Flexstar. Both of those have contact and residual activity. So that'd be another thing that you can add in there. Pretty inexpensive, fairly effective on many of the different resistant weeds, including Palmer pigweed and water hemp. All right, let's talk about other products here too, because we've really mentioned the main products getting used for residual, but what about Extend? What about using that dicamba out there? There's so much talk about, well, hey, when that enlist trait comes in soybeans, you're going to be able to spray S240 and it'll have a little bit of residual. Well, wait a second, dicamba is going to have a lot more residual. The real fact is neither one of them has a whole lot of residual. So don't be counting on, well, I am spraying Extend, so I should be good the rest of the season. No, you're probably good for a week or two or until you get an inch of rain. That's about all the residual you're going to have. And I'm not trying to downgrade the product. It just is what it is. Dicamba's been out for 50 years. We know how much residual we're going to get. Right, so really the only two classes you have here for early post-residual in soybeans are the PPOs, Cadet and Flexstar, and then the Group 15s. And yes, there are a bunch of combinations that contain all these things. We're not going to run through all the different combinations today, but those are the two different modes of action. The key thing here is make sure you're spraying very early. If you spray late, you got two problems. Number one, you don't have the best activity because yes, the PPOs, Flexstar and Cadet have a little bit of burn down, but they're not that great when the weed gets tall. The Group 15s have no contact activity. And then the second issue that we've got is if, let's say that Group 15, or even for that matter, the Flexstar Cadet, if that all lands on top of plants, it doesn't do you a lot of good in terms of residual. You want residual, so you want it to land on the ground and get rained in. If you still have soybeans to plant on your farm, this is no substitute for using the three pre's. You've got to use the three pre's. The residual is so much better. The weed control is so much better than any of these residual products that you're putting on post. The challenge is we're putting on such low rates, they're really not going to last that long. We're just trying to get an extra kick after a good pre-emerge program. So yes, you can use these products, please. If you're still planting soybeans, get the pre-emerge herbicides out there first. That's going to be the best for you in terms of yield and performance in the field. The main reason why we're talking about this today is there are so many people out there fighting resistant weeds and they say, what can I do, what can I do, what can I do? Well, here's the number one program. You start with those three pre's, then our topic today was layer that with some more post-emerge residuals. Use a group 15, and a PPO. So that's PPO is either Flexstar or Cadet, one of the group 15s like Dual, Zidua, Warrant, one of those types of products, or any of the combinations that contain the two. Well, you're certainly gonna to wanna to have soil residual products out there in your soybean fields if you've got our Weed of the Week. We'll show you which products work best coming up next.